Hey guys, it is Sunday, January 31st. I'm in the warehouse tonight to get a head start on packing. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow and I already have over 40 eBay orders to ship out and an extra seven orders outside of eBay. So I've got a lot of work to do. Let's get to work. First thing shipping out is a hat in C3. It's an old inventory code, but I see it right here. This is a Chevy Trucks mesh hat got this in a big lot of hats i've got one dollar into it so for 14.99 plus shipping next is in d41 something i just listed friday this guy right here i got a lot of game boy ds's and uh advances and all kinds of little handheld things from the pickle resellers last week and so far three or four of them haven't really worked so i've been selling them as is sold this one as is for 49.99 free shipping next thing is in b31 right here it is super mario brothers 3 for game boy advance that sold for 14.99 free shipping and it's going to ask if you're named rebecca thanks for the support rebecca next is in c32 this is also something that i listed on friday i think it was this is that pyrex uh, coffee pot that I got in that recent bulk buy of stuff got probably four or five dollars into it and this thing at one point I think was a percolator I think that's why that like little ridge is there I saw some versions of this that were a percolator uh, but this one's just a straight coffee pot I guess it could be turned into a percolator if you've got that one piece I think I'm gonna probably take this lid off and pack it separately just to make sure it doesn't break or anything that sold for $24.99 plus shipping Next is in D42. It is another Game Boy Advance game, the same one I just showed you guys. Super Mario Brothers 3, so for the same price as the other one, $14.99, free shipping. Next is down in B5. It's this box right here. It's a Super Nintendo with three games and a controller. Also something I got from the Pickle resellers. I had to get a controller for it. The ones that came with it didn't work, but not a big deal. A buddy of mine had one that he gave me. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Your name Kyle got that Super Nintendo. He says, thanks, Sean. Been looking for one of these for a while. Your channel is the best. Kyle with Badger Buys. Kyle, thank you for the kind words and thank you for the support. Next is an E42. It is another Game Boy Advance game right here. Super Mario Advance, that sold for $9.99 for shipping. Next thing we're pulling is the exact same thing, but in a different box. This one's an A31 Super Mario Advance. I had a couple of duplicates of different games. That one sold for the same price, $9.99 free shipping. And if you want to Vince got this. Thanks for the support, Vince. All right, next thing I'm shipping out is a bread maker. It is right here on E3. Got the owner's manual for it and everything. Let's see if I can dig this out of here. I got this last week as part of that big bulk buy where I spent $275 on everything. So I've probably got $25, $30 into this. It is the Zojirushi bread maker. That sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next is on E2. It is a John Andretti diecast car. I think it is this one right here, the Wheaties version. And this is the crew's choice. You guys might be able to see it in the picture. The top light comes off of this car and shows the underneath of it. It's pretty cool. I got a handful of those. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the buyer didn't leave a note, but I recognize the username and Randy put this. So Randy, thanks for the support. Hope you like the car. All right, next we're going to B41. So if you've got that on your bingo card, go ahead and mark it. It is another as-is handheld console, 3DS XL. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is up on B2. It is another one of these magazines. I've sold two of these already. When I bought these, I thought I'd be hanging on to them for quite a long time, but they're doing well. Let's see, the one I sold is this one right here. Dig it out of here. This is from 1932. It is a German art magazine, and this is the second volume. So if somebody's collecting them and they want all of them, this is definitely one of the earliest ones. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is in D4. It is a Sony Shot Cradle. Obviously, D4 is an old inventory code, so we're probably looking down here, if I had to guess. Oh, there it is. So this is a Cradle charging station for a Sony CyberShot. Occasionally, I'll sell like power cords, adapters, things like that. If you know, if it's a name brand, 
sometimes you can get a little bit of money for it. So if you buy something and you know if there's just like a big box of cables and odds and ends chargers, check them out because you might find something worth a little bit of money. That's over $14.99 free shipping. Okay, next is an F42. Let's see. Back here. There it is. This is a PS4 controller. A little bit faded, but worked fine. That sold for $26.99 plus shipping. And once again, the buyer did not leave a note, but I recognize the username Alex bought that. Alex, thank you for the business. Okay, next thing is an E42. Right down here. This is an Apple iPod Nano. It did not work, unfortunately, so I had to sell it as is. That was also part of that big bulk buy where I spent $275 on everything. That sold for $17.99 for shipping. All right, next one I think you guys are going to be excited about. Winnie the Pooh finally sold. He's been hanging out here for a while, and somebody finally bought him. And hopefully I don't knock down that big Budweiser sign in the process of pulling Pooh down. All right, so I got Pooh at a garage sale last year. I only had to pay a few dollars for him. He still has the tag on his ear. And he just sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Your name, Devin, bought Winnie the Pooh. He said it's going to a friend of his for his birthday. Devin, thank you for the support, and I hope your friend really likes it. All right, next is a leather travel kit right back here. I have two left, and both of them sold. I had a total of, like, close to 10 of these, I think. I got part of a bulk buy a few months back. I only got about a dollar into each one, and each one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is a Bose speaker on B2. Let's see, right back here, let's move Kanga out of the way. I got this from my guy Mike a couple months ago. It is a Bose VS100 video speaker, and that sold for $21.99 plus shipping. Next is an autographed helmet. Let's see, I actually got a handful of these, so I'm going to have to double check the picture, but I believe is this one right here all right yeah that's the one i was thinking of i got this in tennessee with a huge lot of autograph stuff so i've got less than a dollar into this that sold for 9.99 plus shipping and that's going to answer your name matt thanks for the support matt next thing is back here on the f rack it's these hockey gloves Let's see if i can dig these out these are a speller i might be mispronouncing that 14 inch gloves I've only got about $5 into these. I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Next thing is a skateboard right up here. This is a Nash Hot Foot. I got this a couple months ago on a bulk buy. I've got about $10 into it. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Your name's John about that skateboard. He says, hey, found your channel during the pandemic. Glad to see the progression of the channel since. Keep on picking. P.S. Could you throw in some stickers? John, thanks for the support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Next thing is a vintage Polaroid case. I think it's going to be an old inventory code. It says E2, so it is probably... Yep, here it is. I thought this was pretty cool when I found it. It's new old stock, case for a Polaroid. I thought it would have been worth more when I found it. I've only got a dollar or two into it. Sold for $10.99, free shipping. Next thing is something I took an offer on. Also an old inventory code. It said B3. I think I see it right here. This is a Pat Burrell card. Graded 10 from BCCG. They sent me an offer of $10 free shipping and I accept it. And viewer named Ted got this. Thanks for the business, Ted. I hope you like the card. I sent out a handful of offers for some things. Maybe like 10 to 15 things and quite a few of them got accepted. So first is on B1. It is a classic hot rod. I guess it's more like B2. Pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is the one. Sent out an offer for this for $15 plus shipping and someone accepted. Next thing is another offer. It is a Ford Mustang, a yellow one. Let's move this out of the way. Underneath this Spider-Man car, this is the one. This one, I sent out an offer of $19 plus shipping and they accepted. Okay, another car I sent out an offer for, I believe is this one. Yeah, 2005 Ford GT. I also sent an offer out on this one for $19 plus shipping and the buyer accepted. And if you're named Jonah, got this for GT. Thanks for the support, Jonah. Next thing is on A3. It's underneath this diecast car. This is a Casio printing calculator, new in the package. 
It was also part of that bulk buy I made last week. That sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Next is an E31. Right here is Medal of Honor Frontline for PS2. New sealed, something I got from the Big Boy resellers that sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next is an A41. Right here is a big lot of Superman cards. This was in a big box of stuff I bought a couple weeks ago. I think I had these listed for around $40. Somebody sent a best offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is a pair of sandals right here. These were part of that bulk buy I just made and these things are so small. Look at these. Size 2 for a little baby. Those sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is an E31 right here somewhere. Down here at the bottom I think it is. This is a Cincinnati Reds 1976 World Series Champions Ashtray. It's pewter. Got this from John in that bulk a lot of stuff about a month ago. Got close to $10 into it. Took a best offer of $27 plus shipping. Alright guys, I didn't finish it, but I put a really big dent in it. I got like 80% of the stuff packed up. And I am exhausted. I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it's Monday morning. I'm back in the warehouse. I'm ready to finish packing all these orders. But first, I got a couple of viewer questions I want to answer. This one's from that one guy gaming. Hey John, do you think eBay's easy pricing is a good idea? I never turn it on when I list things because I don't think it works well for me. Thanks. My eBay store is that one guy sells. So I've never heard of the eBay easy pricing. I'm not sure exactly how it works. If you say turn it on, I'm assuming that... They might like adjust the price for you like as the market goes up and down. So that could be a good thing. I don't personally trust any kind of data that eBay's done on pricing. So like every time you list an item, it'll, you know, you click buy it now and it'll usually say something like, you know, prices are trending around here and it'll give you an idea. And it seems like it's never anywhere close. Personally, I always do my own research. I look at sold comps and I try to put my stuff sort of in the middle. Like I never price my stuff up at like the absolute highest unless it's really rare and something, you know, weird. But the common stuff that gets sold a lot, I'm, I'm usually trying to sell it around the average price. So I use sold comps for that, recent sold comps, and then I also look at active listings to kind of see where everybody's at. So me personally, I don't trust eBay to price my stuff, but I'll look into the easy pricing thing. I've never heard of it. Okay, next is from Darren Prune. I've been an eBay reseller for almost one and a half years. When you very first started selling, how long did it take you, how long did it take for you to decide to go full time? Love your videos, I have learned so much from them. So I started selling part time when I was 18. I was selling to the sporting goods store I was working at. I was selling a little bit of eBay, but not much. And back then Craigslist was big. So I was selling a lot of stuff on Craigslist. And I did it part time. Let's see, I'm 36 now and I've been doing full time since 2014, which was seven years ago. So I guess I was 29. So I, I was part time for over 10 years. And it was kind of, it was a hobby for me for a long time. I didn't get serious into reselling until I was, you know, maybe 25, 26, something like that. And it got to a point where, you know, selling part time, I was making a full time income. And that's kind of the, threshold that you want to cross if you're a part-time seller thinking about going full-time. I think a mistake a lot of people make is that they'll sell part-time and they might only be able to dedicate 20 hours a week to it and you know they can make $30,000 a year by doing 20 hours a week and they do some math in their head and they say well if I did this 40 hours a week that's twice as much I can make twice as much money I'd make $60,000 but it doesn't quite work out that way. The biggest reason is because sourcing items and finding items is not infinite meaning you can't find an infinite amount of things to source so it's really tricky um if you're thinking about going full-time i'd say just make sure you've got a nice nest egg you know of savings in case anything goes wrong and make sure that your part-time reselling income is enough for you to you know pay your bills and everything kind of treat it as like that second job, make sure that it's the, the, the part-time work that you're putting in is resulting in a full-time income. I don't know if that made sense. I was rambling on for a while. Anybody watching this that was a part-timer and has gone full-time, leave a comment below for any kind of advice. All right, we're going to finish packing orders this morning. I went ahead and pulled some things from my storage unit. The first is this Yovan Obacan or Obacon uh, signed and numbered lithograph print. I got this a couple months ago on a book buy. So I've only got about 15 or 20 hours into it. 
This is a really cool piece. I took a best offer on this for $50 plus shipping. And I wanna give you guys a quick tip. If you're ever selling framed artwork, in my opinion, the best way to do it is to sell it without the frame. So in this listing I said, frame's not included, it'll be removed from the frame and rolled and shipped in a poster tube. I do that for a couple reasons. First is for cost. So if I shipped that with the frame, the size of the box and everything and the weight, it would probably double, triple, quadruple the price of shipping. And buyers don't wanna pay that and it's, you know, that's one big reason. Next thing is if that glass got damaged in shipping, it would probably cut and damage the print and it'd be a whole big mess. So that's another reason I don't like doing it. I made sure I put that in my listing so the buyer knew exactly how I was gonna ship it. And that print's going out to viewer name Ray. Thanks for the support, Ray. Next is a softball bat right back here. Also something I took a best offer on. Um, I had that listed for like 40 or 50. Somebody offered $35 plus shipping and I accepted. And then right over here, we've got some clothing. This is a pair of Banana Republic shorts. Took a best offer on those as well for $10 plus shipping. And if you're named Jesse, got those shorts. Thanks for the support, Jesse. And last thing I pulled from the storage unit, also an offer, took a lot of offers this past weekend. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. Had it listed for around 25 or 30. It's a size small, so I knew it would be a little bit tougher to sell. Somebody offered $21.15 plus shipping. It's kind of a weird number, but I think that put them right at $30 all in. So that's why they did that. Almost forgot about these golf clubs that I pulled. These are some old power built persimmon clubs really clean got them in a book by a couple weeks ago so i've got maybe 25 dollars into these and i went ahead and pulled the box to ship them in too i had that box in my storage unit this is an offer that i sent out i think i had these listed for around 90 dollars i sent out a best offer of 68 dollars plus shipping and the watcher accepted okay just a few more things to ship i sold this june board game once again it was the best offer an offer that i sent out actually the box was damaged and it's not 100% complete so I knew it wouldn't sell as well I've had it for quite some time maybe like six months or so had it listed for about 30 or so sent out a best offer of $22 plus shipping and the buyer accepted your name Drew got that board game he says hey John thanks for putting out great content that's helped grow my knowledge to a point where I'm a confident reseller I'm hoping I can do the same thing Lonnie Pete and yourself did for me with my own YouTube channel tip of the mint flips I'd love a shout out, but I would love even more if you check out my channel and give me some honest feedback. Either way, keep up the good work. Drew from Tip of the Mint Flips. Drew, thank you for your support. I went ahead and messaged you with some feedback on your channel. I hope that helps. And if you guys want to see Drew's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, next thing is an IBM Might and Magic PC game. Let's see, right here, this was on a big lot of games I got at a garage sale last year, so I've only got about a dollar into it. That sold for $17 plus shipping. Next thing's a radio right here. It's a Sony. I got this as part of a bulk buy a couple months ago. I've only got about $10 into it. It had some condition issues that kind of hurt the value a little bit. Let's see, one of these antennas didn't stay up. I think it's this one, yeah. I even tightened the back screw and it didn't seem to help. So that was an issue and then right back here, the handle has a crack you can see right there so i made sure i put please read in the title and then in the description i laid out all the details of what was wrong with it but besides that it works great and it's really clean um i think i had this listed for like 30 or 40 or best offer somebody sent an offer of 25 dollars plus shipping and i accepted next thing is a talk with me barbie toy set right up here so let's move that ornament i got this last year around the summertime when we were in Tennessee doing the Highway 127 sale, and it really was not a very good buy. I thought it would be worth more. I paid $10 for it, and I've had it now, I guess, six months, something like that, and it finally sold for $13 plus shipping. Your name Haley bought that for her nieces. Haley, thank you for the business. Really hope they like that doll. Okay, next thing is over here in A7. Let's move this rack out of the way. Well, it was formerly A7, but this is it. That's what I'm looking for. This is a cookie jar that I got last summer. I've got three or four dollars into it and it's got an old comic strip. So it's got all these old cavemen I thought was really cool. It's in good condition too. That sold for $22 plus shipping. And that is going out to viewer name Amy. Thank you for the support, Amy. All right, the last eBay order we're shipping out is on B1. Should be up here. Yeah, here it is. This is a Nintendo DSi. It has, I think, 11 games and the charger that sold for $49.99 plus shipping. 
You were named Carol about that. She says, nice little bundle. I've been wanting to get one of these. Thanks, John. Great deal. Still loving the videos. Carol, thank you so much for your support. All right, last few things we're shipping out are orders outside of eBay. These are viewers that reached out to me via email that were wanting to buy some things. Here are all those boxing cards I showed you guys. I sold those to Rocco for $75 free shipping. This is the Riverfront poster that sold to Chris for $15 free shipping. Here is the Diecast Chevy Bel Air that sold to Jimmy for $20 free shipping. Here is the Allen hangover bobblehead with the baby on the front. That sold to Mike for $15 free shipping. Here's the Marlboro Camping Canteen that sold to Sheila for $20 free shipping. And here's a big bag of marbles that sold to Anita for $20 free shipping. I want to thank you guys so much for your business. I can't tell you how much your support means to me. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.